right here with James uh, from the RAA and we're going to commission the new 150 kilowatt at Penishaw. Very exciting. Kangaroo Island's first rapid charger. And it's all been going quite well, James, with the... Yeah, absolutely. Uh, very smooth with Sappen uh, yesterday, which is fantastic. So, yeah, very excited to bring this one live for the for the residents and the tourists of Kangaroo Island. Um, and we're going to un oh, unplug it. Oh, open it up so the plug goes in. There, we heard the handshake thing. Here we go, preparing to charge. So we got here with 22%. 0, 3.1, 4.9, so it should go up to 120, hopefully. I think the BZ has 150 is the max. Yeah, so, so it will slowly ramp up to what the, the car asks. And, so and I'll just show you the, the power module, so you probably don't get to normally see these. Yeah, this is something special. So, yeah, so we can basically see how much power is being used and pushed into the car. And what we can also see is the power modules working away there. So um, the, this is, uh, we have program maintenance every six months to make sure we clear the, the air filters and it will, we will change that for them. So yeah, so that's it. Um, yeah, and we also obviously have the, the smaller, uh, smaller charger here as well. Uh, for people that might be staying a bit longer, uh, enjoying the coast. Yeah, line. go down to the beach um, can exactly for, for four right. or five hours and exactly come back right. and have a charge there. So. Cool. All right, All we right. just we brought Twiggy the charging dog, the RAA mascot. Twiggy, Twiggy, sit. What do you reckon? You, she's, she wants to go to the beach. All right, so we're um, we're still getting 97 kilowatts, and we've gone up from 22 to 31, and that's been only like um, well, probably five minutes or less. So she kind of gives you the indication of the speed. 32 percent, and we'll try and get it up to 100, I think, today if I can get yeah. the free power from the RAA. <laughs> because I'm driving the car back to Adelaide tomorrow, taking the BZ back to Adelaide, and um, I'll be giving it a review. I actually quite like the BZ. Um, it's quite comfortable to drive. It's quite traditional inside. It's got all the buttons. You feel like you're in a Camry or a RAV4. Um, it doesn't quite have the performance of the Polestar or the looks. The, the uh, plastic on the side's a bit polarizing, but yeah, it seems to work pretty good driving down the road, very comfortable and now we can say that it charges pretty well too so we're still on 105 uh, we're at 35 so it seems to be hovering right about 100 on that 100 kilowatt mark all right that's interesting we've ramped up to 112 so i guess, I guess it's the car itself i mean i don't think toyota preconditions the battery or why it's gone up from 100 to 112 but that's interesting and uh, so we've gone up to 41% and we're charging slightly faster now and you access these through the charge charge fox don't you uh, yes. that, that's that's the system to use it absolutely yep so uh, all of the charges on the RA network are on um, charge fox um, so that's just for easy use so people coming from interstate and those types of things can use one app um, yeah so the, the big difference I guess um, is uh, well, I guess the camp, the camp Power is a really reliable brand um, and Chargefox just have such a strong dominance ac across the country. So yeah, the apps are, uh, Chargefox apps is quite nice to use and they've just upgraded them recently where you can actually see how much it's taking now. I think oh, yeah. there's a bit more information that, yeah. that you can access through them. So, Fantastic. Yeah, and, and again, having the RFID card is great too. I think Evie's about to introduce Tap and Go, which is something, again, differently where you just use your standard credit card. You don't even really use the ChargeFox card. Yeah. The, so they're just rolling that out. To... The camp hours are enabled for that as well. Um, so that they, might they happen do down the, the track. So that might be something we see in, in, in the coming years. All right, and this is quite a nice location here. Um, we're just across from the beach. That's the ferry terminal over there. So um, very convenient for people coming onto the island or, or leaving the island. They can just plug it in and, and go from there. So beautiful spot and there, there there's everything there. So um, uh, you were saying that you can actually monitor this remotely. Uh, obviously we've got the camera up there for security, but you can also monitor it remotely, see how it's working. And if someone called and said it wasn't working, you said there's four or five parameters that you can actually do do remotely before you have to send a technician in? Absolutely. So we've got the call centre that people can call. Uh, so just if you see the numbers on the side. Uh, so they can help troubleshoot um, uh, if it's a severe problem uh, with the charger not operating. 
will already know about it and, and potentially have someone deployed to fix. Uh, we've also got three or four mechanisms that we can actually restart the charges and see if we can get the charger going remotely. Um, so yeah, it's it's pretty severe if we're sending a technician out. Yeah, um, especially to Kangaroo Island because it's not that easy, is it? You have no, to, exactly have right, to get them on so. the ferry. So. All right. I just noticed that the uh, Toyota's battery management systems come on, so you can hear the fan going. So it's actively cooling the battery because it's been pumping in the electrons, and we're uh, we're now uh, gone back to 99, and we're at 50 percent. So yeah, it's it's charging pretty rapidly. Um, I should have set the timer as to how long we've been. One thing about the BZ, it's not like the Polestar, there's not that much information on the dash in terms of how much it's taking or how much time you've been here, so I'd have to give that to be my slight criticism of the BZ, where it doesn't actually really give you that much information inside as to what it's doing. All right, so J James heading off. Yep. and um, everything's worked out well yeah, it's all working that well, well so we're about to push it onto the app so thanks for your help Stan all right and, no worries um, yeah so we want to see more EV drivers come to Kangaroo Island you can come here and fast charge now do your thing come and see the island charge your car and then in addition we have the destination ones as well so yeah good on good on RAA you've done a magnificent job love yeah. the system fantastic keep up the great work thanks Dan Appreciate no worries have you. a safe trip back there goes James, the RAA technician, did a great job activating it. Off he goes on the ferry to work on another charge. I think he said he was going to go over to Victor Harbour. And uh, meanwhile here in Kangaroo Island, we are at 72%. There he goes in the Ionic. Um, so we're at 72% and we've ramped down to 56 kilowatts. Uh, so we're just getting that last little bit. I might actually try and do it to 100. Normally I wouldn't do it to 100 if I was road tripping or whatever, I'd be wanting to go down because you don't really want to stick at 56, but for the sake of this video and also my review of the BZ, we'll see how it goes, um, sticking to, or trying to get to 100. So yeah, we're at 55 kilowatts, which is still fairly decent. 50 kilowatt charging is not too bad. And the battery management is still going. You can hear the, um, the fans going cooling down the battery and uh, yeah so here's the destination charger looking pretty good we've got the indigenous recognition on there Twiggy what do you reckon you want to go to the beach don't you all right we just hit 80 and we've gone down to 43 so it's a reasonable charge curve but it's still getting 43 at 80 Okay, we just hit 90 and we're down at 34 kilowatts. So that's the BZ charge curve. 34 kilowatts at 90, which is still not too bad. All right, we're back in the BZ. We're getting up to 94 and we're still getting 30 odd kilowatts. But I'm just gonna make a comment on how there's no real information on how it's charging, how many kilowatts it's getting. So it does say that it's at 95%, which is giving me 377 kilometer range. Um, so if I go to the Toyota app, I've got trip information, current history, it talks about the average speed and all that kind of stuff, history, so 19.1 kilowatt hours per 100, previous best 16.5, but nowhere does it tell you how much, um, how much that you've charged or how much you're charging at, so that's just, I think that's a bit of a downfall from, uh, from Toyota and there's nothing here on the screen um, up there the po oh, it just turned itself off uh, the pole start tells you how many kilowatts you're getting um, how long it's going to take and all the rest of it but whereas this just gives you nothing it's just saying that there's um, at what percentage it's charged to so that'd be my comment about the Toyota do a better job with your charging information all right so we're at 96 and it's gone all the way down to 15 so we might try and end it now, um, I guess, or th down to 13 kilowatts at 96. <laughs> I want to keep going, see how low it goes till the very end. Uh, whether we get single digits when we get below, when we get to 98 or 99. So there's the ferry arriving and that shows you how close we are to the charging, just right there. Oh, we missed it, I was getting distracted and we charged at 100. So we got right up to, I think the last time I saw, was about 15 kilowatts, so it went right up to 100. Um, disconnect the charging cable. 
so we're going to pull it out there we go so there we go 120 kilowatts the maximum thank you raa first first full charge at the charger how privileged am i um one good thing to say about the bz is these fantastic little flaps look at that so handy you've got one you've got two and when you put them back back they go well done toyota all right thanks for watching everybody super stoked to be the first one to charge at the raa charger now we're at 100 percent we can take the bz back to adelaide and get back in the polestar right. just wanted to quickly say that we got the car showing 100 percent and you'll get 400 kilometers of range so that's gone down slightly because of my driving technique i think it was 415 before we're now down to um exactly 400 kilometers on 100 percent with an average of 19.1 kilowatt hours per hundred on the ferry back taking the bz back home i'm well, not back home back to adelaide we go on the ferry see you later kangaroo island say goodbye to the island bz when will the next bz come to the island who knows so to you either do a better job keep bringing the bz's make more bz's make them better and bring them to australia thanks for watching everybody